movie. Are we interrupting something? Dusty, you made it. Yeah, just in time to hear you mention someone's dirty... Something I don't know, Cam. Except for the part with me being into Joss. Hello, that's why we went to the midwinter formal in the first place, so you could dance with Joss. Okay, fine, fine, I like her. Mm -hmm. But you know, it's not a big deal. If she never ever feels the same way about me, so what? We'll just be friends. OMG, shut up. I will not shut up because I need to tell you how great you are. Bring it in. What? It's hug time. Uh, no. no. He's not. He was just here. He came here and and he was. He, he told me how much he loved me and he told me how brave I was and that I was braver than him, which is not true. But mom, he was here and we're gonna come home and we're just gonna laugh about this. He's, he's out there somewhere. It wasn't. It wasn't the tumor. That killed him. He was shot. I know, baby. I know. He was shot. The police are trying to figure it out, okay? <laughs> it was the Vader article. They said it was dangerous. Someone shot him. Okay. Who shot him, Mom? Whatever, wh whoever it was, the truth is going to come out, and, and we will face this together, Cameron, with, with our family, okay? I should have been there. I should have been there. Oh, no. This is not your fault. Don't think for a second that it will understand. It wasn't your fault. <laughs> Managing type 2 diabetes? You're on it. I did, and I left something unsaid. There's something I want to tell you now, okay? And I, I want you to try and remember this. Did you ever forget? You can change the world. You changed me. How did I change you? I never thought that I would have children. I didn't want them. I didn't want the responsibility. I was afraid that I would screw up a sweet, innocent little human life. But you and your brothers and your mom, you helped change my mind. You made me believe that I could be a better, that I could be a better person. And for a while, I think I was. Not for a while, you are. You're a great dad. Thanks. You're a great kid. And I love you. And don't you ever forget that either. Okay? Didn't, didn't you see him when you left? Didn't you pass him? You were just dreaming, baby. No. No, I wasn't. He was here. We, we had this, this this long talk, and he, he left, but he, he, he was here. What's wrong? Why? What'd you do? He was having a bad dream, and I, I, I tried waking him up, and he grabbed me. Did he hurt you? No! He startled me for a second, but now he thinks that the tumor is making him revert somehow, so he's checking himself at the Shady Brook tomorrow. That's... 
significant. It's an overreaction is what it is, and he won't listen. He's staying at the Metro Court now, as if he can't get away from his family fast enough. And yet he says that he's doing this to protect his family, but I'm starting to think that he's giving up in the fight to beat the tumor and to live. Okay, one thing I've learned is it's always better to take a positive action, no matter how small, than to sit around feeling helpless. If you're worried about Franco, call him. I want you to come down to the station. I need to question.